Good morning, good afternoon. Today is Monday, October 22nd, and we're doing the morning business headline commentary. All right, so as my followers begin to increase and I, I have a more um, community of bros that I talk to, um, um, as you know, um, these um, uh, commentaries would be uh, have a high value uh, for my followers, um, you know, my bros that I communicate with. And as you know, um, everybody has uh, have to pay the bills, um, have self interest in accumulating success, and you'll see more efforts into helping my bros more, um, and so forth like that. All right. Um, so you see, we skip a week. Um, it may be a little bit more often now um, than before. Um, Due to reasons I just mentioned. All right, so today's a uh, business uh, headline commentary. All right. Ryanair, you know, like um, and others like uh, Norwegian are the low cost carriers of Europe. Um, let's see if they want to compete more eventually in the future and by adding flights in the US and Asia. You know, if their business model works, they probably want to order more planes and having more routes that may be popular, like the uh, um, London London routes, uh, Paris routes, maybe eventually in the Asian routes. I see in the a lot of international flights has been lowering the prices. You know, back and forth from New York to very like halfway around the world would be like around five hundred now. Very affordable, very competitive, and so forth like that. But I do see in some of these flights, they you know they had used to have normal size snack packaging uh, for snacks. Now they're like half and a quarter of these packaging now in a size. But that's all right. You just grab a little bit more to equal the original size. You know, like you know, that would work. Or tobacco, you know, there's an overall trend, it's a downward in usage where vaping have been, you know, um, cannibalized the traditional smoking tobacco uh, activity. Um, you know, you may see eventually in the entertainment field they may promote the act of smoking, but it's not going to work that well anymore because we don't live in the 80s where like simple gestures and suggestions would you know satisfy the criteria of legitimate skill or legitimate and you know like uh cause and effect that was back in the 80s when not nobody was that you know logical um because we have new technology now and we require a lot of logical thinking you know like fake news we we use i mean a lot of people don't fall for it if they use some common sense and their you know free education from good schools they will be able to tell a lot of these stuff apart all right so another headline saying that self-driving taxi self-driving cars will come to service not completely and not exactly that's the kind of thing um you know as you know the normal implementation they have a real driver that overwatch the whole activity, but the driver has n has no net effective safety um, measure because when it happens, like it happens really quick, if anything happens in car incidents, as you show as it shows a couple of weeks ago, there's no time for for the actual person to even react when they kill somebody. In California or Arizona or something like that, there's no time for actual person to react, you know. So um, it's not really so in the, in the actual eventuality, it's not really hundred percent self-driving. They may just couple this headline with something else, a caveat, 
So it's not really self-driving and then people will realize this is BS and they just um, forego this feature altogether because they got endangered their lives if they want to use it and they can't really react to it quick enough if anything actually happens. So I would see this is like, you know, eventuality is a gimmicky headline kind of thing. Um, maybe in the golf course, you know, where they have a lot of open space or maybe in a farm situation, you know, like in, in cities, you'd be like asking for trouble. If you, if people find out that you have uh, anything that's like self-driving. I mean, even GM or like uh, they tried to say they were implementing something in lower Manhattan, never happened. So it's a headline, gimmicky, you know, not really can be practical kind of thing. And it would be very cheap technology because so many different companies developing it. And there'll be eventually an open source standard that you don't even need to pay any royalty. And even maybe like eventually they have like um, aftermarket products um, that you can, you know, like dash cams, aftermarket products like dash cam in the same packaging. Um, so you can just, you know, put it in your car and have something that's even easier. Um, than what they hyped up to be, which is eventually not going to be a very expensive product and nobody will even buy it um, because of the danger um, of what is possible. So you see like uh, Asian market trying to make a bounce or bouncing like a dead cat. Take your pick. Um, you see that like eventually like, you know, there's a lot more disputes going on. You know, like, you know, there's two values in that, you know, because you're making news and you're focusing the news on the people that's like making the dispute and there's value into that. If you're into attention and vanity stuff, you know, you, I mean, you know, certain people love to just make things like, like causing a lot of waves just to get attention on themselves. Right. And they, and you know, that's what they're doing. I'm like, a, a, one of these values. So you see eventually, I mean, I mean, you know, some people would, would get fatigued, I think, eventually. It's like, oh, come on, are you going to keep on arguing with little things all the time? You know, like, you know, making a big waves and maybe you should just get kicked out or something like that. You know, stop making all this fuss on every little stupid stuff. So I always eventually see a, like a fatigue. It's like, why are you keeping... Picking on something, you know, that's enough already. It's enough on the plate. So that's how I see a little bit of that eventually. So you see the, uh, high, like, vacuum base, high-speed um, transportation underground. Um, which, I mean, I mentioned vacuum because there's no air friction, so you can go unlimited fast speed without even slowing down because you have vacuum. It's uh, basically air friction traditionally that causes you to slow down. If you know your physics, if it's an object that keeps on going in momentum, it will keep on going on momentum if there's any nothing blocking it, which is uh, mostly air frictions in real life. All right, all right, let's go to CNBC a little bit. So you see a little bit like a Goldman Sachs just breaking, saying that they got to do the uh, lower margin kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. Like I've seen Goldman Sachs trying to put a lot of efforts into traditional banking. Um, and it hasn't paid off that well, but it does provide consistency in low income. But as I mentioned, like many, many times before, um, they're recruiting the wrong people now. Um, that's a strategy, competitive strategy. I mean, they still have to honor like the, uh, fraternity kind of things. Yes. Yeah, they say, I'm a former fraternity. You need to hire me. Um, you know, and they're just here to you know, bunched up the the ranks that just want to take in a lot of the overpayment and compensation. 
and that's fine and that's why you see other banks um, making ways into leadership roles in business like investment banking and trading you know you seeing like Goldman Sachs missing a lot of stuff already they miss on the HFT common sense stuff and they you know they have this like a uh, Spanish guy the Spanish name guy who left the company to he thought he has ability leveraging Goldman Sachs resume to start a tech company he failed and then ironically Goldman decided to take him back that in itself is a fucking loser like you take back like you know old guys that didn't do well you know <laughs> so this uh, like a like a bunch of uh, bunching out the ranks um, of a lot of guys that just you know dare to you know you know harvesting the overcompensation and while like the some some guys that knows how to do things either have left or like um, place uh, a, a mechanism to keep on recruiting the wrong people um, so in that case they they give themselves less competition in in controlling like uh, maintaining control or, or being promoted so I mentioned that in the past a little bit and you know it's fine that they don't understand these things you know like you know it you know it's fine um, eventuality like you know right now already other firms that you know they keep on they kept the quality of equipment going and they're able to get results of um, beating them like two or three areas already which I think eventually it will progress to many more other areas like you know starting out the HFT which they have no idea what to do and they decide to hey since we can't beat them just like you know patronize the other firm that slow down the um, order routing by having um, longer copper wires I mean longer fiber after wires when I heard that stupidity I thought that maybe you should just pop out the um, the old copper wires and the old routers which would slow things down naturally without having like uh, several miles of fiber optic rolled up you know this is the same thing you just roll out these old routers old copper wires and slow down the order routing um, yeah so there's a lot of irony a lot of you know things not getting some guys just don't get it because they you know from other areas of the country a little bit you know that's fine um, all right Ford is uh, making like a like a earnings call this Wednesday um, I do know that some of the popular big cars are sold out still you know, or have a long wait period so that bodes well any car company that has this problem this is like good to go because like you you want to full throttle on your production and stuff like that and to get the money and able to command better pricing because there's a high demand and you have to wait and they're willing to wait and pay higher. So you see this lottery like they're pushing it beyond the combination of seventy numbers. It used to be around fifty sixty numbers, and you're able to win it below the the current uh, much below the current jackpot levels. Because there's like over 70 numbers and, and, a, and an extra number to match. So the combination is just like outrageous now. All right, all right. So um, a lot of different things happening, but, you know, varying to the same theme of the trade dispute. Or continuation or finding new new disputes to get more attention, like I mentioned, or different values. Um, you know, like probably have to go the route of getting fatigue. Is that like, okay? You know, why are we still disputing? We trying to and consumer will be complaining, and the regulators will be get popped. You know, so why they're not doing controller pricing, like gases, gas pricing, trade pricing, and why these uh you know and the poor people will start complaining and they will be like oh it's this guy's fault you know it's this politician's fault and i do support popping out incumbents of all parties 
because you know the she more news comes out is a lot of stupid stuff you know they be, they turn around and betray the people their own consti constituents which is a common deed because they have they they not satisfy the salary and compensation and some of them just want to be corrupt you know all right so today's um okay let me let's see the uh indexes um go uh, came back above about 1200 you know it's a you know a little bit bouncing after my commentary it was below 1200 I think eventuality you gotta get your chops right um, and move on I have not seen anybody except like really stupid musicians start wearing go and you see like a lot of people don't want to be associated with stupid musicians or claim to be stupid musicians and you know i'm not wearing gold trying to look like that you know guys that doesn't know how to rhyme on high school level education <laughs> all right oil 68 is um yes like a combination of the things i said the last hurrah trying to uh, suck up as much money as possible before you know the electric fleets are being adopted in cars and there'll be no oil, no gas, nobody to drive it, you know, wasting gas, you drive and fill it up and drive it back in traffic. You know, there'll be more time to do other stuff and they'll increase productivity and the efficiency of the employees doing other things. Um, Hang Sang, you know, trying to build a little bit of, of, of gains, you know, so you see what's going on in the US now. So they have a little bit of cushion all right, so today's uh, Monday, October 22nd, nearing the Halloween time celebration and eventually to the uh, uh, Black Friday where there will be a lot of, you know, interesting products. All right, um, today's Monday, October 22nd. We're doing a morning business headline commentary. Uh, something I also know, I do have Indian followers and Chinese business followers. Uh, some of my Chinese business followers decided to buy out Germany's robotics firm after I featured these robotics on in my supercar remix music video something listed below um uh and also the uh, the company called funimation that owns dragon ball got um became a takeover target after i featured goku and gohan of dragon ball um in some of my cooking demo cooking hero demo videos something listed below uh, something also no, I did mention to Hong Kong to consider a long-term strategy to landfilling, um, and it was uh, I gave that commentary in last November 2017, and they have progressed that idea into now in the public debate, and they will uh, do landfilling. And my evolving advice is that they should have a long-term strategy. When they see new opportunity evolving, they can implement that and grow the economy. Since it's very expensive to do landfilling, I think they should just use it to grow their economy. Um, as, as they grow their the economy strongly, they're better in position to protect the liberties. Because like, it's because of their civil liberties in doing business and free speech. That's why they're so popular in, in business. All right. Um, all right, so uh, some of my um, actionable commentary, three of them. Of the many many ones that I mentioned, and as I mentioned, like um, as we progress forward, um, the value that I bring would be more distributed to my close bros, um, things like that um, that I keep communications with, and they share the stuff I share with them, um, and uh, you know the other people that you know like my follow my commentary can, you know you know my contacts and all that stuff. And you want to be, you know, within the my community of bros? Let me know. All right. All right. So today's on Monday, October twenty second, twenty eighteen. We're doing the morning business headline commentary. Happy trading, everybody, and happy Halloween and happy um, uh, Black Friday and and after that, uh, happy Christmas, New Year. All right. <laughs>